This week on Shop Talk, we have the couple behind Googly Gooey's and the Sago Project. We'll also check some couple stuff from me and you. Plus, we'll give you the details for the upcoming events, the Made with Love Arts and Crafts Fair, and the Bakery 12 2013. So stay tuned for the next hour. I'm Lexi Schultz, sitting in for Rieta and Juan Cotrillo. Valentine's Day, we have a couple who are in business together. I'm talking about Anthony and Tippy Go, the duo behind Googly Gooey's and the Sago Project. And your names are Pongo and Tipsy. Screen names. Online, yes. Online, Online. Online, names, Online right. and screen names. Welcome to the show, guys. Hello. Hello. Okay, Thanks so for having us. I think Suki can adito, di ba? So today, <laughs> since it's Valentine's Day, let's talk about couples in business together. Because obviously, a lot of people will say, don't ever mix business with pleasure. Don't get into business with friends. But you guys mm -hmm. are married. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that came with the business. But you guys were also in college together. Yes. Okay. Yes. Tell us your story. Well, actually, we've, we've already been um, groupmates back in college. So we've been working on projects with uh, like very little sleep, under stress. So it's like already used to working with each other. Okay. That's why it wasn't like a conscious decision that we'd go, we'd be going to a business together. Okay. It just happened naturally. Okay, but you were very like-minded from, from the get-go? Actually, no. Okay. I am more of the crammer. He said, she said talaga. No? Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm more of the okay, crammer. She's the one who, uh, who likes things done like early. in a schedule. In er early, mga one week earlier than the that's deadline. You. That's you. Yes. But you're the artist, and I find that strange yeah. because usually mm. the one who takes care of the business should be the one with OCD, because oh. you're the one who hits the deadlines and mm -hmm. all of this. But you're the one who keeps things on track. Is that correct? Yes, because because mm -hmm. I'm just scared that on the day of the deadline, I I might still not like have a design. But like on certain days, for example, even if it's two weeks before the deadline, if okay. I'm inspired or something. Even if I know like I'm not supposed to work on it yet, I'll work on it because I'm afraid that the idea might go away. Okay. And that one day when I'm suppo really supposed to work on it, I, I won't know what to do anymore. Okay. <laughs> so that but at least she's a hard-working artist. Yes, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. So technically, you're making money off her. Somehow. <laughs> how long have you guys, seriously, how long have you guys been in business together? You're talking about college. You sound like it was so many years away. How yes. old are you guys? Secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a decade. It's a decade. It's no? the tenth yeah. year uh, anniversary of our batch this year. So yeah. our viewers can count back, you know. <laughs> so you guys have been working together for ten years. So obviously something in there works. Mm -hmm. So what is the formula? Is there a formula? Um, well, it seems to be working with you guys because it's nice that one is more of the artist mm -hmm. and one does more of the the practical business side mm -hmm. to it. Uh, uh, in my opinion, I think it's uh, knowing what you can do and what the other one can do and don't encroach on each other's territory. Okay. Because that way, you avoid all the conflicts. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I do the artworks and then it's like I'm uncomfortable on like placing a price on what I do. Mm -hmm. So he does like the negotiations, pricing, logistics, operations. He does that distribution. Because I don't want to be like uh, blatantly like, marketing it or doing some hard sell, so he does it <laughs> for me. But you guys also move forward. You, you don't stay stagnant because now you've got other things like you both got into photography. Mm, yes, yes because we both like taking pictures. Okay. So we just thought... It's a natural progression for us that yeah. uh, a few years back, er, uh, when we have friends who get married, we shoot the, their weddings. Mm -hmm. And one thing led to another. Now we're offering it as a service that we're selling, it's actually an offshoot of the Googly Gooeys then. Okay. So it's another way for us to express our art. Okay, and mm -hmm. for those actually, because I sort of went a few steps too forward, let's mm -hmm. talk about Googly Gooeys. Why the name first? Well, he invented it. Like, if I was to come up like, with a name, it would have been just the blobs. <laughs> the what? The blobs. <laughs> Not so creative. <laughs> He was the one who um, came up with the name because they're googly-eyed and they're technically like talking and walking. Goo. It's a cartoon blog, okay. which is about us. It's about the two of us. So it's really personalized. I mean, not yeah. only mm -hmm. are you guys working on it together, it's it's a reflection pretty much of, of you both as a couple. Yeah. Yes. And you yes. were okay to share that with the rest of the world? Okay, how we share it is that uh, 
we create humor out of from the daily events that happen to us. Okay. So instead of being so serious like everyone else complaining about, oh, this person is so messy, we make it. We put a fun twist to it in, and put it in cartoon form. Well, That's this we is why you guys are still together <laughs> because we <laughs> find the humor. Yeah, we get to laugh at it. Like after it happens. While it's still happening, it's not like a very pleasant experience. But after, it's like, oh, we can laugh at it now, and people f actually find it like amusing. But, but come to think of it, like if you really look at the situation, it wasn't that fun. Like when it was happening, and you mm -hmm. brought a whole troop of googly gooeys. I'm assuming that these are the googly gooeys. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and then from that, you also have all these other products, mm -hmm. right? Talk to us about the other products that you have that stem from the googly gooeys. Okay. Uh, the first line that we launched before was uh, t-shirts. Okay. Okay. After the shirts, we launched the pins. Okay. Then we went to bag tags before we went to, what do you call this? Uh, the folders. Mm -hmm. Now we're venturing into the plush toys. Okay. So, also, the plush toys were an afterthought, pretty much. I mean, because mm -hmm. yeah. I would think that it would be the start off because mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's because so representative it, yeah. of what exactly yeah. you guys yeah. are. But we started with the shirts because uh, we had a partner okay. who we worked before for over a year. Okay. So from there, everything moved forward. Mm -hmm. And you sold the shirts 10 years ago? No, no, no. Okay. We just sold the shirts maybe two years ago. And how much were the prices back then? Uh, the prices back then, it, it was at... Five seventy-five per, per shirt. Okay, that's mm -hmm. not bad. That's not bad, and we're planning to relaunch the sh store, but this time it will be online, so okay. that we can cater to all our viewers Leaders. from out of the country, because technically, when you look at our blog, it's sixty percent of our viewers is from outside, uh, outside the, the Philippines, yeah. and well, only forty percent. And you do have a lot of fans from out of the country <coughs> because I, you do have a book. This is an American book, yes. Yes, yes it mm -hmm. is, and yet. The googly gooeys, they are googly gooeys, right? Yes. The ones yeah. inside. Mm -hmm. you, did they call you to ask to use your animation? How did that work out? Actually, we already used to work with that blog, I Love Charts. And then okay, so this book was yeah. from, a, from a blog? Yeah, yes. also mm -hmm. a blog. Is this an American blog? Yes. It's an American blog. Okay, so do you guys know each other personally now? Um, Not really. Just mm -hmm. via email. All <laughs> online. Yeah, uh, all online. So that's pretty amazing. And then apart from that, you, did, you are published in Singapore as well. Mm, yeah, it was on a, a magazine, magazine in Singapore. It's a magazine, but do you have comic strips on it? How, how did you get published out there? Uh, they just contacted us via email and they were asking if um, they can use our um, images because they're going to talk about virality on the net and okay. how people use like campaigns and stuff online. Okay. Who, who do you find is your target market? Because obviously, from what I see here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's very youthful, mm -hmm. colorful, I mean, just a lot of fun. Do you find mm -hmm. that you, your your target market is more of the young crowd, or do do moms look at these toys and say, "Oh my God, it's really cute for my children"? Mm -hmm. Actually, the main target market of the Google Googies, it's surprising that when we check the demographics, mm -mm. it's from 20 to 26, 26. Okay, we thought before it's a it was. Older than it's I a little yeah, older yeah, than yeah, we thought. Yeah, we thought that they were so like 11, we thought 12, that they were 12 yes. or 14. Yeah. But yes. when we ran the survey, it's more of those people who are in college mm -hmm. and who work. Because they say that they could relate to the cartoons more. Well, obviously, because mm -hmm. it talks about relationships mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. partnerships and married life. Mm -hmm. Maybe the twenty-somethings aspire to mm -hmm. have, you know, humor as well. Which we'll talk about, you know, relationships. Now you do weddings, sort of. Yeah. yeah. Tell yeah. us um, how that how that shaped up for you. Well, we used to, as a gift, we used to design stuff for our friends for weddings. So we would like always do that, like the menu. What do you mean card. giveaways or? Mm -hmm. Um, like then menu card and okay. invitation, um, okay. table number, mm -hmm. and then from like thank you cards, and mm -hmm. then from there, um, we also tried offering it to other couples who are getting married because we we just thought that there might be a market for it, and true enough, there is. But not only that, you also conceptualize things like prenuptial videos, and mm -hmm. and all of this. Prenuptial is, is quite new actually. It's only come. Around become two popular years, years. in the past mm -hmm. few yeah. years. How? Explain it to me, <laughs> because I guess when I got married all those years ago, it just wasn't something that was top of mind. But now a lot of people actually choose to have one. Obviously, it, it's for the memories. But yeah. how many? How many do you do in a year? Let's say. Um. Okay. With regards to the prenup videos and the wedding, we just started basically this year, mm -hmm. so we only had a few couples who. Uh, got us as their photographers. Okay. But our, the main difference for us is that 
we create photos that are more on the fun side rather than the glamorous side. So more candid, I more suppose. More candid, yeah. spontaneous. spontaneous. Life, life situations. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, don't, okay. we don't do the planned shots like the dramatics and all, poses. With the, all yeah. the poses. We just like to make it fun. And mm -hmm. with the prenuptial, after that, I'm sure they appreciate your your work and your vision, mm -hmm. so you end up doing their wedding branding as well. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. yes. Okay, and I, this is just sort of an example of, of how a wedding, this is part of a wedding um, that yes. you yes. did? Mm -hmm. um, because we notice that couples <coughs> nowadays, um, they want their weddings to be like an extension of their personalities. Of or course. A reflection yes. as and of you can do that now, you know, yeah. and you can have simpler weddings, but a lot more heartfelt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is what you guys decide to decide to do for them. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So talk to us about how you separate though because this seems to take up a lot of time. Oh yes. yes it does. Because <laughs> <laughs> obviously it does. it's so yeah. very specialized. I mean from the buttons to the and then you also do photography and then mm -hmm. prenuptials. I mean it, it's the whole gamut but how do you separate your time for yourselves? Mm -hmm. Time for the googly goos. I mean, wh where is the distinction there? Um, there are times when we like um, when we would go out, and mm -hmm. he's gonna be like, uh, "Okay, tonight we're not supposed to talk about work. We're but just I bet gonna you have you dinner." Do. Yeah, but we still, <laughs> yes. especially if we have that aha moment and like we have an idea we want to share or mm -hmm. we don't want to forget, then the discussion evolves and it goes back to business. <laughs> it actually there's actually like no clear line. Even if we tell each other, okay, on this trip, we're not going to bring our laptops, but we still end up like talking about work sometimes. Or we're there's not always allowed the pen to connect and paper. to the Wi-Fi. <laughs> what do you mean there's always the pen and paper? Oh, if you have some ideas. brilliant ideas and whatever, <laughs> just start jotting down, then you get lost in the trip. So this is pretty much a 24-hour <coughs> business that doesn't stop. Mm, More or less. Yes. It's like mm -hmm. a blur between work and life. <laughs> okay, but let's say today is Valentine's mm -hmm. Day, right? Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Mm -hmm. What do you guys have planned? Or is it a secret? Um, actually, <laughs> there's no plan. Yeah, we, no plan at we all. We actually don't, um, well, uh, ironically, we don't really celebrate Valentine's Day. Like, okay. Um, ever since back, we were yeah, back in college, we, in we college. never went out during Valentine's Day. Really? Yes. So what days during the year do you sort of celebrate yourselves? Do you celebrate your anniversaries? Because obviously you seem very invested also mm -hmm. in other people's relationships yeah. mm -hmm. and weddings and that whole idea of love and humor. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's really quite nice. Both of you give off that, that vibe of, of youthfulness in marriage. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> so when do you guys get to celebrate that? Uh, whenever there are no deadlines, <laughs> which is maybe once a week. So we, we try to make it a point to still like, go out on dates, even if we're married, so that you, will, you can still feel like we're not just tied down and working all the time. That's well, you know, I'm supposed to ask you about your plans for the business, but I should ask you about your plans for your marriage. <laughs> because it seems like your business just seems uh -huh. to keep going and going, because even though you're at dinner, you mm -hmm. sort of have a pen and paper, and you scribble. I mean, you're really mm -hmm. always thinking. I guess that's how artists sort of operate, right? Yeah. I Actually, I, I, I was reading this book, it's called Work Life, and um, I was hoping like, to find enlightenment, like how do art, other artists do it? Do they have like, a clear line between work and life? And apparently, a lot of them, like, their work is already their life. So Correct. I guess that's the answer. It's, it's really, there's really no like, clear line. Okay, so where there's the heart, there's also the head. What are we going to expect from Googly Gooeys? Okay, for the Googly Gooeys, <coughs> we're going to have... We're gonna be launching the the brand new online site okay. by the first quarter. Hopefully, we get to finish it by the first quarter. Um, oh, deadline now. Deadline now. Yeah, it's coming. It's <laughs> March. It's one month ago. No more to go. Valentine's Day. Forget <laughs> it. <laughs> Valentine's Day. And for the Sago project, um, we're gonna continue with all these projects. We're actually working on two yeah. or three more weddings for the branding okay. and hopefully we get more clients for photography okay, well and videos. Just to clarify, the Sagwa project is really more of your wedding? Yeah, more of the wedding mostly, yes. mostly wedding. But now mm -hmm. like we're getting increased for first birthday parties or mm -hmm. like for family portraits, like for what the weddings we did before. Now they have kids and now they we're doing their family portraits or the kids' photos. <laughs> okay, so Pongo and Tipsy, all the best to you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Have some time for yourselves <laughs> and we'll see you really soon. Thank you. Thank you. We'll talk more about these couple shirts and items for me and you after this break. So stick around. Shop Talk will be right back.